That's why that's my one motherfucking move. You know what I'm saying? If I was a stripper after this, that's my shit. This my only, this my finale right here. It don't get no better than this for me. Can all the ladies in the house say ho? Say ho! Can all the hoes in the house say ladies? Oh, it's more hoes in this house than that. You ever go somewhere and forget you a hoe? And see about two, three motherfuckers you done slept with, you'll be like, Lord, I got to get the fuck up out of here. I feel like a hoe up in here. Because hoism is a motherfucker. It is. Hoism is a motherfucker. I think the only thing funnier than being a hoe is seeing somebody that used to be a hoe. You ever see somebody that used to be a hoe? Now they born again Christian. Now they saved. They done got married, had children, but they forgot that they used to be a hoe. And they want to be judgmental against you. But my only thing is this. I think that everybody should go through a period in their life where they get their life together with God. I really do. But my only thing is this, when you're working on getting your life right, give a motherfucker a sign that you're working on getting your life right. <laughs> no, cause it could fuck you up, it could fuck you up. I was down on Bill Street, ran into a friend of mine today that I hadn't seen in a long time. And I was a little bit excited cause the last time we was in Memphis we had a good time. So I was a little bit excited. So I ran up to her, I was like, Bitch! Girl, what the fuck you been doing, girl? Girl, I remember the last time I was in Memphis, bitch, we was balling. We was getting, it was in the club, we was getting fucked up. Bitch, you was so drunk that night, I think you fucked the motherfucker in the trunk, bitch. You was drunk in the motherfucker. I said, bitch, what you been doing? She said, I'm saved now. I said, me too. Shit, my bad bitch, I didn't know. Shit, hang some bibles from your earrings or something, shit. Put some gloves on or some pearls around your necks or some shit. <clears throat> Give a bitch a sign that you're working on your life. You ever see a motherfucker that's saved but they still wear their whole clothes? This bitch got on the halter top with a cross necklace. She'd be like, come on, bitch. Make up your mind, bitch. Make up your mind. Tell you, hoism is a motherfucker. Hoism is a motherfucker. And if you ever, 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 ever been a hoe ever in your life, you always gonna have some hoe like tendencies. <laughs> you will. I don't give a fuck how many church organizations you belong to. You gon' have some whole life tendencies. Like one whole life tendency is when somebody touch the back of your neck, your mouth gon' fly wide the fuck open. Oh shit, what's wrong, Sister Johnson? Nothing, sweetie. Just jail that part. Don't curl that. Just jail that down. Just jail that down. motherfucker background. You don't know if she used to be a hoe. Gotta look for some signs. Gotta look for some signs. Like one sign is when she get out the shower, if she lotion her knees before she lotion her face. Nine times out of ten she used to be a hoe. men, it's always men that will lead you into hoism. It 
is. It's all, because you know, you could be in a situation where you're just being a freaky bitch. And then it take a man to push you to that level. Like fucking an ass. Now when I said fucking an ass, I know that some of y'all, some of y'all been fucking in the ass. I tell y'all, some of y'all sitting in here right now, asshole sword in the motherfucker. Cause somebody done convinced you that that's some freaky shit. Y'all sitting in this bitch scared to sneeze cause you might lose a kidney in this motherfucker. <laughs> oh shit girl, I gotta go to the bathroom girl. Girl Junior got my shit all fucked up. Cause Junior done convinced you that fucking in the ass is some freaky shit. Telling you now, y'all better stop fucking in the ass. You gonna fuck around and lose all elasticity. You gonna fuck around and be at a cookout. You gonna go to eat a hot dog. That bitch gonna fall straight to the floor. Your kids gonna be like, Mama, is that your hot dog? No, that ain't Mama hot dog. I don't know where that hot dog came from. That ain't Mama hot dog. It is, it's always men. And trust me, once they realize that you're a hoe, they'll never let you forget it. Never let you forget it. Like I live in Los Angeles, California. My next door neighbor is Monica Lewinsky. Nice girl, nice girl, but I feel so sorry for her. Cause men will never forget that she's a hoe. She tries to live a normal life, date men, all kind of shit. I can just imagine down the line years later, she could be married with kids, moved on with her life. She come home one night from a hard day's work. She laying in bed trying to get some sleep. Now her husband nudge her. He trying to get some head. What you know, can I, can I get some head or something? Oh honey, sweetie, I'm really just tired. I had a hard day at the office. I just really want to get some sleep. He'll wait like two seconds and be like, oh so what a motherfucker gotta do, be the president to get his dick sucked by you? Shit, my little job at the auto shop just ain't enough. I got to be the motherfucking president to get my dick sucked by you. Men ain't gonna let you forget. But the only way to keep from being labeled as being a hoe, you gotta get you a man. Get you one motherfucking man. Right now in the audience, right now, ladies, if you with a man, touch him. Touch him. If you see somebody in the audience you wanna fuck, touch him. Cause I just wanna see what's left out this motherfucker, you know? <laughs> bitch is working, the bitch is working. <laughs> no, cause you gotta get you a motherfucking man. Women kill me, I go from city to city and I hear women always tell me, they can't find a man. You can find a motherfucking man. Let me tell you something, if you're a grown fucking woman and your pussy don't stink, it ain't no reason why you shouldn't be able to find you a motherfucking man. Now, if you got a little older with you, I understand your frustrations. But you can find you a man. You know why women can't find a man? Because we too motherfucking picky. We too motherfucking picky. We worried about what he driving, how much money he making, where he living, who he was fucking before he was fucking us. Find you a motherfucking man. Shit, in today's society, a man could find a motherfucking man. <laughs> Y'all better stop being so picky. The problem is you gotta learn how to say so what. Everybody's not motherfucking perfect. People got flaws, everybody got a motherfucking flaw. You gotta learn how to say so what. So what they lie. You know they motherfucking lie. I dated, see, you gotta make a game out of this shit. I dated a man for five years, this motherfucker lied so good, I used to call him the Lion King. <laughs> I'm telling you, you ever see somebody that would lie and swear to God, Lord? This motherfucker was, he would swear on his mama. I swear on my mama, I swear on my mama, I swear on my mama. He would swear to God. I swear to God, I swear to God, I swear to God. I said, swear on your rims, swear on your rims. He was like, see, bitch, you tripping. See how you tripping, you tripping. See how you tripping. Gotta learn how to 
to say, so what? Especially older women. I see older women go years, don't have a date, don't have a man, don't even have a motherfucking plan to get a man. The law didn't say you couldn't fuck a man younger than you. You seen the movie that came out two, three summers ago with Angela Bassett? How Stella got her ass waxed? This shit can happen here in Memphis. I tell you, I stay fucking a young boy. I do. I buy PlayStations by the motherfucking dozen. I stand outside the nightclub. I be like, I got that John Madden, nigga. Got that John Madden. Got that NBA Live 2000, motherfucker. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening, nigga? Got that new, new FUBU sweatsuit. What you want? What you want? I'm telling you, you gotta learn how to say so what. Then you see so many women. This the ones that kill me. Motherfuckers act like they don't want a man. I don't even need no motherfucking man. Then call their house. Listen to their motherfucking answering machine. Hey, this Tamika. I'm not home, but you can reach me on my cell phone at 391-2468. Or call my job at 841-3924. Or call my mama house at 631-4128. Holla! You desperate bitch! Find y'all the motherfucking man. Y'all be making up all kind of motherfucking excuses. So what he ain't perfect? So what he ain't perfect? And I look at some of the celebrity women especially. I feel so sorry for them. Like Halle Berry. Lord, Halle Berry, she just, every man she get take her through motherfucking changes. But you know what her first problem was? She left her husband, David Justice. She left her husband, David Justice. Now she's married to Eric Benet. Don't get me wrong, the motherfucker's cute. But financial wise, she went from first class to coach. He will never have the money that David Justice has. And how can you leave a man with championship rings for a motherfucker wearing toe rings? I don't understand that type of bullshit. Oh, that's some soft ass shit. Oh, you know that that's some soft ass shit. See, my problem is I like rough ass motherfucking men. I don't want to see men doing no soft ass shit. Me, myself, I don't even want to see my man in the motherfucking tub. Nigga, take a shower. I wish the fuck I would come home and you soak it. I know you ain't in this bitch soaking. You better be doing the dishes in this motherfucker. That's what you better be doing. Do that shit when I ain't home. I don't want to see that shit. Real men don't soak when other motherfuckers is home. Real men don't put lotion on they ass. What is you lotioning your ass for? The ass is supposed to match the nuts dry. It's a combo. Find y'all a motherfucking man. I gotta give it up to the woman of the year. The woman of the year that got my vote was Juanita Jordan. Juanita Jordan is the motherfucking woman of the year. Oh, that bitch did some old Angela Langberry murder she wrote type of shit. She thought that Michael Jordan was cheating, so she went out and hired a private investigator to follow him around for six years. Do you know the amount of dirt you could have on a motherfucker for six years? When I heard this shit, I didn't have but one thing to say. Juanita better not call my house with no bullshit. <laughs> Bitch, don't call me. Not because you a bad bitch when you decide you gonna leave Mike. How can you decide you gonna leave Michael Jordan? Do you know how rich this motherfucker is? I mean, after you leave Michael Jordan, the only other rich black person you can marry is Oprah. And I don't know if you want to change your diet up like that, but hey, shit. I'll tell you, that shit was traumatic for single women all over the country. When we found out that Michael Jordan was getting ready to be single, he was getting ready to be a free agent. I don't know how it affected y'all, but for me, when I heard the shit, I was in my car. 
I stopped at the red light. I started doing motherfucking sit-ups in the car. I said, oh, shit. I said, fuck sisterhood, every bitch for a goddamn self now. Shit. Find you a motherfucking man. So what he ain't cute? So what he ain't cute? Just don't go nowhere with him, shit. Oh, that's how they do us. That's how they do us. You know who you all be begging them. I'd like to meet your friends. Bitch, I told you ain't got no friends now. Everybody got a man, everybody got a man. Guess who got a man? Y'all gonna be shocked like a motherfucker. Guess who got a man? What's a little tennis player, bitch, richer than the motherfucker? The sister, not Serena, Venus. Venus Williams got a motherfucking man. She got a fine ass Italian boy. This motherfucker is fine. They had pictures of him in the People's Magazine, laying out on the beach, getting a suntan. He was laying there looking golden brown. She was laying in his arms looking like this. I said, damn, this bitch got a man. Oh, y'all know Venus Williams ain't easy on the eyes. Fuck that shit. Shit. I ain't the best looking bitch in the world, but I got one bitch beat, that's Venus Williams. That bitch done won every tennis tournament there is to win. They ain't put on a box of Wheaties yet. Kids all over the country be crying like a motherfucker. Mama, I don't want no cereal. I don't want to run fast. and I say, God has a sense of humor. Now he does, he does, he does. Let me tell you something, God is the creator of all men. He has given each and every one of us a flaw or two, some more noticeable than others. As for me, I have no body hair. Hair does not grow on my entire body, which means I have to draw my eyebrows on every fucking day. What I'm trying to explain to y'all is I'm part seal in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm subject to her any motherfucking minute. But you can't tell me that God didn't have, have a good time when he was creating some of, some of us. I'm convinced that God was sitting on his throne. He told St. Peter, he said, St. Peter, I feel like doing something fly. St. Peter said, well, do what you do, God, you God. He was like, well, get out of my way. He said, I'm getting ready to make a black woman. I'm gonna make a young, I'm gonna make a talented. I'm gonna give her some tender skills where she'll be renowned around the world. But watch the face on this motherfucker, man. Venus wings. <laughs> find you a motherfucking man. I'm telling you, cause ain't nothing like when you find you a man and that dick is good. Oh, cause you don't know dick like I know dick. That dick is a beautiful thing. You ever have somebody that fuck you so good that you really think you're in love? I'm talking about that real kind of motherfucking love. I'm talking about the kind of love where you lay in bed all day and fuck all day long. Don't wash. Then y'all eat a bowl of Fruit Loop cereal together. Then after a while, he smack you on the ass and say, boo, go get me a grilled cheese sandwich. You go down to the kitchen butt ass naked to make a grilled cheese sandwich. You up to the stove naked, holding your titties up from falling in the frying pan. You got dried up, come on your leg. One track of your weed hanging down. But you flipping that sandwich like a motherfucker. That's the real kind of love. And I learned early on, because as you fall in love, you learn certain shit. That dick is not, you can't, 
You can't, all dick is not good just because it's big. We understand that. And it took me 30 years to learn that shit. So I just want to say all to men in the house, we understand when y'all don't have big dicks. We excuse you. We understand. But on behalf of all the ladies, I want to say this. When you don't have a big dick, don't show up with a big dick man's conversation. And by that, I mean this. When you have a big dick, we will allow you to speak to us in a certain fashion. As a matter of fact, we like that from time to time. We like when you be verbally aggressive with us. Like for instance, if you got a big dick, you can talk to us like this. So where the fuck you been? I've been calling you all motherfucking afternoon. I've been calling your job. I've been calling your cell phone. I've been looking for you. Where the fuck you been? But when your dick ain't that big, lower your motherfucking voice. You don't speak to me like that. When your dick ain't that big, this how you supposed to say that same statement. I was worried about you. I thought something happened to you. I've been calling your job. I was getting ready to call your mama house. I was worried about you. And some of y'all dick so small, y'all don't need to say shit. Just hand a bitch a note. Oh, you was looking for me. I didn't know my cell phone wasn't working. Y'all, my name is Zamora. Y'all been wonderful. Thank y'all.